Hello, I'm Sam Crow from Cloudy Stamp UK. Welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Today, for change, I'm getting my gel plate out. I love to get my gel plate out. I love to get the petites out. I love to have a good play with them. So, um, so I'll do as many videos as I can because I know a lot of people like gel plate videos as well. So, this is what we're making today. So, this is using the gel plate petites uh, circle. Um, it's a birthday card, it can be a Christmas card, it can be an anything you want card because what you can do is get out all your favourite cloudy stamps and just have a good old stamp in the middle. Um, today I'm going to actually use um, Ladies Hats 2 stamps because uh, I love them and I'm going to use them um, with the word chains um, which I've just put on blocks, there you go. Word chains, um, grace and strength. So... Um, Simon Mann, lovely camera man, will tell you which word chain set that is at the end. So, okay, so I'm just going to get straight on with it. This is what we're going to do first. We're going to make these circles. I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to use some dorsals. We're going to have a bit of fun. Okay, so I'll put that aside. Today, I'm going to do this in a different colour today. Um, I'm going to use the Daily, uh, sorry, Daily System 3 paints for change. I haven't used these for quite a while now and I love them. I love all the paints that we we use, we sell and use, but um, I like to mix it up a little bit and, and I haven't had to play with these for a while, like I say, I've said, I've already said that. So um, that's what I'm gonna do now. So I've got the, um, put my glasses on. Oh, well, purple, it doesn't get easier than that. And sap green. So I'm literally just putting this on the gel plate. Just a little bit. What I've done, I've got my uh, my large gel plate next to me um, as well because if I do put too much paint on the petites, I can just uh, wipe it off on, on my large one and take a print of that later on. Because obviously the small, you know, it's easy to make, to put too much paint on. Uh, for this project, it actually doesn't matter that much because you want it a little bit chunky anyway. So I'm going to start... Um, a little bit of I'll turn this over and put this behind because I don't want to stamp on Barbara's mat again <laughs> so I'm going to start just in the corner here and come across you can start where you want but if you start in the middle then it's it's difficult to fit them in so I like to to start just off a little bit oh, there you go like that um, and then just work across the card from there so I'll turn that round as that one so um, Right, I'll just go for it. I'm just, sorry, Barbara, I'm just going to have to mess your mat up a little bit. <laughs> this paint is a gorgeous colour, this um, Dale Rowney Purple, the System 3. So if this goes patchy, um, you don't need to worry about it because... Um, I'll put this one under there. You can come back with a second coat, which I probably will quite a bit. Excuse me a minute, I just need to get a bit of copy paper. Got it. <laughs> right. So I put copy paper over to save Barbara's black mat. Right. Especially as it's for groovy. Right. So get back on with it. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to follow this format because I know this format works. Okay. So I'm going to come up to the little corner, fill the corner in. Or oh, actually, I'll go there first. So I'm going to pick up my paint off the large gel plate. Probably a bit easier to work for this for demo purposes. Yep. Off from one gel plate to another. So I'll come in, I'll do this one up here. And then the purpose of these cards is, you know, I like to do what I call art cards or mixed media art cards. Um, I haven't invented them, they're just a thing because you're making pieces of art. Um, but it's very quick and easy to do. Uh, once you've done a couple, you can just whip them out um, and then you've always got some cards at hand uh, for those days when you realise it's someone's birthday and you haven't made anything. But uh, along the way, you get to play with your gel plate and, and, and just have a bit of fun with it and no pressure. So, so I'm, going, I'm doing this one down here. Bring it off a bit. So then I'm just doing these little fillers. This colour is absolutely gorgeous. So, 
so that's that one i'm going to try and bring some in here put a little bit more color on my large gel plate I'm just going to fill this little gap in. I might put a tiny bit there. So I can actually um, just show you. Because I've been putting the paint on my large shell plate so I can spread it out a little bit more, um, I, I could actually just come in and just pick it off like that as well. One or two gel plates in front of you is it, always like a good idea for me because you can just pass things across from one to another. A little bit in that corner, so I'll pick up a bit more. So then this one's not a full circle, so I'm just going to come back in on that little bit and double stamp it. So it's like stamps to see through. You can just go back into that area. I'll just press there. Um, I, I like some of these bits here, but I, I actually want um, a full edge because of what I'm going to do next with it. So otherwise I would just leave them. There, so I'll just get that finished off. So, so there you go. There's your first little bit there. So it looks quite gappy there, but it won't in a minute because we're going to fill that in. Okay, so I'll move this out of the way. I'll take it, quickly put that off there, actually. Clean my brayer. Yeah? Right. So now what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to mix, I'll, I'll bring in, <laughs> did I bring, ah, okay, I've got the craft mat. Sorry, I was going to bring in the craft mat from over there, but I've got one here. So, bring in my craft mat. I'm going to do the filling in bit here, and I'm using the um, cloudy flat brushes, which I love for this. So, I'm going to, um, I'm going to keep it tone on tone, so I'm, I'm going to use the Dale Rowney, um, and water it right down but you can also do this with the vivas the viva paints are absolutely gorgeous when you water them down and watercolor with them as well so and i do normally do this with the viva paints i'm just watering it right down taking a bit out can you see there so it's still quite chunky so i want more water i want this really really watered down so otherwise you won't see any pink, would you, either? So I'll move that out of the way. Then I'm going to do a little tester on the back. So, so that's still quite deep. If you see, you wouldn't really see the contrast very much, so I need more water. Ooh, <laughs> that was on me top. Good job there was no ink in it. I've done that before. Sprayed what I thought was water and it was an ink. <laughs> Spoil the project a little bit. There, so this is what we want. We just want it really, really, really thin. All right, so perfect. So I'm going to come in now and I'm just going to do in between all these and I want to, I'm going like round the edges like this, twisting my brush. This is why these brushes are so good. You've got like this this flat edge so you can like literally just draw around things like that it's brilliant and then you can flatten it out and then I want it to look really rough just roughly colored so go different directions and just you know try not to be too careful and if you get patchy bits like that even it looks good so can you see now how it's it's sitting nicely in the background that's what we want perfect it says and then does another five minutes of it so no that's exactly what we want there so can, can you see it's what we want so then i'll just move this to the side hope nobody ends up wearing that later <laughs> so there so now we're left with the card so i'll bring some paper back in just to protect barbara's little black um groovy mat Right, so this is quite wet at the moment. 
Um, you want to get the door so always put your lids back on. Might have to uh, borrow that off Barbara. It's a gorgeous colour. <laughs> right, so I'm using the um, Pegamano Dorso crayons now. Love these. So as you can see, I've got the purples. Uh, I'll put a bit of the, the yellow in um, and a bit of the green. Pink and green always looks good. And I'm going to do some scribbling now. So the pink, just go for it. And then I'll probably, when I go do too much, which I, which isn't too much for me, but um, sometimes I go a bit mad, I can always bring it back with the blue. So I won't touch the blue until the very end. So, and I've also got the tools. I can use the uh, the dorso oil uh, with the tool and the nib. Um, it smells gorgeous, so it's worth using it just to smell it while you're working, really. Um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but you can do some nice little blended edges with that and just bring the colours in together. Um, if they look too separated, um, that's what I would use them for. So I'll just have a play and you can watch. Just scribble, literally scribble. So, oh, last little bit just slipped right off. It doesn't matter. I can come back in with a pink. Darker than that. It doesn't really matter. So, you could blend this with um, with your finger. Of course, it would all turn into, you know, more into walk, more colour, but you can blend and keep little bits going. Um, I like it like that. I just like the scribble. It looks good. Um, it makes it each shit, each circle stand out because you want them separate but part of the same thing. So you can see the background's dried now uh, or nearly dry. That's seeping away from us, which is what we want, and that makes these come forward. So when you stamp your image, it's just going to pop. It's it's going to be you know obvious image, which is what we want. So I'm going to do a little bit of the dorsal oil because I just want to have a little smell of it, really. <laughs> but it's, it's great stuff as well. So once you once you blend these, they're blended. You can't put anything on top, and um, the more the oil based. So um, make it the last thing you do around the circle or whatever. Or if you want to do something else first, if you want to come in with you know a charcoal or a white pen or something, this is the thing you must do all of that before you use these because once you do, like I say, you can't put something on top of them basically. So just need a tiny drop. Oh, smells of orange, just smells gorgeous. So I'm just going to get my little nib and I'm just doing a few areas where I feel it needs a little bit of blending, okay. See this corner, see how it's all kind of messed up in that bit there? I'm going to give that a really good blend with, with this. So now I can come back in with the blue and, and pretty it up again, really. Can you see how the blue does make things pop? You can see it on that one, the yellow and the blue are, are bringing everything out. And then if you want it to go back a bit, you put more pink on or purple. So you can keep bringing it forward, taking it back. But you know what the fun of this is? It, it's just the scribbling just frees you up. You have a really good time with it. So, and you can use any pens, any pencils, but I love to do it with these dorsals. So just do a tiny bit more. And then on the last little bit, I'm a little bit more careful because I see where I need the color to be and, and whatever, so. There. So I would say that's done really. We've got to that point. Um, like you say, you can come in with thinner pencils, do some thinner lines as well as the thicker lines. That looks really nice. You can see I've done that there. Um, in fact, I was doing this and Linda Williams said to me, have you tried these dorso colours? And I said, no, I haven't. So she gave, these are hers. She gave me them. Um, well, one set of hers. And I absolutely loved them. So that's why now the I use them on the project more than anything else I'm using. So get you some, some the gorgeous. <laughs> so, so that's that bit done. So then I would come to the stamping. So I'm going to show you a few samples. There's a, there's a lot that you can do with this. Um, and you can use all the gel 
gel plate petites, all the shapes, um, and all your stamps. It's just a fun card to make. So, so you've seen this one. This is the example that I was kind of going by. Um, this is a version of the same thing as well. This was um, an early one that I did, and then I, I just keep developing it and developing it and messing with it. This is another a fun one I did. Um, I actually did this at the um, Cloudy Stamp Demo Days last year at Grover. So, um, so this one, I'm going to stamp onto this one because this is still quite damp. So I'm going to use this one to stamp on today. But it, you can see it's the same, it's just in different colours. So get your favourite colours out, have a play. Um, and then I'm going to finish it off. So today I need a birthday card, so I'm just going to quickly make it into a birthday card or, you know, celebrate a friendship or anything you want to do. So I'm going to use, this is where I'm going to bring the ladies in. So I love these stamps. So I'll just stamp on top. So I'll just work out my positions. So she's going to come there, she's going to come there. Do a bit of pattern there. I might turn it around. Yeah, turn it around like that. Yeah, so I'll do it like that. So I'm just working out the position before I actually stamp. So, I made myself a little mask, I think. No, I didn't. I'll just quickly make a mask because, um, just in case I go over, because obviously there's no point doing the circles to contain everything. Um, oh, actually, I've just got one. I'll just nip to the side and get it. <laughs> I'm back. Right, so I made a mask earlier, so I'm going to use that. Um, because obviously you made these circles and you made them for a reason, so you want to contain your pieces of art that you're doing, and each circle could be, you know, could be classed as its own little piece of art, and you could build up all sorts of, you know, images. So, so you want to make yourself a little mask. It doesn't take long. To do that, I just um, took a gel print of the circle and then just cut it out. So, so I'm going to bring this lady into here. I'm going to have her peeping in there. And she's, she's watching a mate who's up here looking down at her. So bring her in. There you go. So there's nice, two nice ladies. And then um, I think I'll bring some words in and I'll, I'll have one of the ladies looking up here as well. Not sure what they're all looking at, but you know. <laughs> nice to build a picture in your head, isn't it, of what like a story of what they're doing, what they're up to. A bit weird probably, but that's what I do. So they're all looking at her, so it must be her birthday, I reckon. Or... <laughs> right, so we're going to bring in some word chains. Um, so I'll, I'm just going to fill these gaps because um, if you look at this, you don't really want to put another lady in because they're kind of looking at each other. So I'm going to put some words, but you could put some pattern, you could put some flowers. But today we're going to use the word chains. So. You know, um, when you think of women, you think of strength, grace, all the nice words like that. So, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. Simon, our cameraman, he's really good at making cards. And we discussed the positioning of these ladies because I'm working from, from this one. So obviously this is a lot different. So we actually discussed the positioning of these ladies and he's actually really good at cards because he, he gave me some really good positions to use. So I'll give him his credit where credit's due. <laughs> so. so we discussed, let's have the words coming through and this is what I'm gonna do now. So there you go, so then we'll bring it along here, so then I'll finish my strength. Because when you do this, when you split words like this, you, your mind fills in, because you can see the full word on the card, your mind fills it in, so it's, it's fun to just have them broken up in that, really. And I might have a bit more... Uh, 
well, let's see, let's see how it goes, because they're, they're looking lovely, aren't they? They're really jumping out there. Um, I might just do a little bit of um, a little bit of pattern from from the hat. No, that was my idea. It wasn't Simon the cameraman's idea. It was mine. <laughs> there you go. That looks really good. I'm impressed, Simon. <laughs> So we're nearly there, aren't we? Isn't that looking really good? All this is really jumping off. So now we make, need to make some features. So I might colour her hat and her hat just a little bit. Um, or do a bit more scribble, maybe a bit more purple around there to make them jump off a little bit. Colour in a bit of the pattern. Um, I'll have a little fiddle. I'll, I'll let you just watch what I'm doing. Simon might even speed me up a little bit. Um, and I'll just do some finishing touches. I mean, you really need to change the nib. I've got some nibs with me, but I'm just going to go with it for now. So if you were going from yellow, purple to yellow, you, you would change your nib, okay? So. <laughs> so, so there you go, you get, you get the gist, um, I could fiddle with this for hours and hours now and I would keep bringing in, you know, different pens, trying different colours, do, do bits of blending, um, but obviously you don't want to watch all of that and, and it, it, there's no speeding up in the world that would fit all that in. Sometimes I work on a card for a long, long time, but this doesn't have to be a long card. You can make it quick and easy. I could be more or less finished there. I like to do a little bit of shading and, and things like that. So it's up to you what you would do with that. I just wanted to show you the method, the, the quick and easy mixed media art card is, you know, your gel print, quickly painted background in the same colour or, or a contrasting colour. Uh, but heavily watered down so that you get this this grungy little look at the background. Your Dorso crayons, your, your favourite stamps. It's a quick and easy card. You could make a batch of them in one go. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you liked the project. Um, <clears throat> um, so if you remember, you could do all this with it. Um, I'm, thank you for watching me do this and I hope you, you did enjoy the video. If you did, please like and subscribe down below. Um, don't forget to visit Barbara Gray's blog, which is barbaragrayblog.com. Um, she does lots of tutorials to let you know what she's up to. Uh, has a bit of fun on there as well, and she give, does gives away, giveaways and things like that. Uh, so please visit there. If you'd like to buy any of the products I've used, um, please go to cloudystamp.com. Um, and I hope you'll come back and see me again sometime. So thank you for watching. Bye.